Okay, I'm just being told that we're arriving in the bomb and biffle pad. So, this is my brother, and he's about six foot four or whatever, and always beats me in water fights. But not anymore. I have built the world's most powerful water gun. Let's go. And it doesn't work. Let's go. My first port of call when building this was to look at what was already available on the market. And there were a couple of very powerful water guns, but they didn't really seem powerful enough. But that's when I thought, laterally, what about pressure washers? Pressure so I washer went online and bought the cheapest 4,000 PSI pressure washer I could find. I've got no idea what any of this stuff is on account of never buying one of these before. I think this is a hose pipe, so we probably don't need it. Without instructions, I reckon I could probably build one from scratch more easily than understand this. Yes! I'm too good at this. All right. That just seems to be a hose. Oh, I thought it just worked, my bad. Oh, this is crazy! All that's left to do now is turn this into a water gun. Inside the pressure wash, it was a very simple design, which is fantastic. But it can't be powered off batteries. Pressure washers are designed to be run off 240 volts, mains electricity. So I want to make it A, more powerful, and B, run off batteries. Now, if it wasn't obvious you should not try this at home, there is a very legitimate chance that this might actually explode like a grenade. That aside though, I wanted to run it off a motor I had lying around. Oh, ho, ho, ho. check this out. You might be saying, Boris, it's smaller. To which I say, it's 10 horsepower. Suck it up, Borisky. Unfortunately, the motor I have isn't directly compatible with the pump. As in, I can't simply plug the two together and have a working design. I need some kind of gearbox. So, let's get designing. Hopefully this works because I don't have time before I go to Germany to get these sorted. If it doesn't arrive, I can only place one order. So let's make it a good one. To have this part manufactured, I reached out to PCBWay, who sponsored this video, to use their sheet metal cutting service. PCBWay offers a wide range of services, but their sheet metal cutting service is the one I use the most. You get high quality, precisely machined parts and the cost is pretty low. And sure enough, a few days later, the parts arrived. To test this, I'm going to be using a much less powerful motor and ESC than I will in the final project, just so we don't end up blowing anything up if something's wrong. All we're looking for is that this spins. That's literally it. We just want to make sure that the pump spins and a bit of water trickles out the bottom. That's more than a bit. Crikey. Clearly, this is pumping. So, basically, test complete. That test went pretty well, but it really wasn't that powerful. So let's swap out our 36 volt 250 watt system for a 115 volt 60 amp system. That will give us 6.9 kilowatts, or about nine and a quarter horsepower. Oh, it's 
pumping like really well. Look at that. Now, <coughs> even with the highest gears I have, I didn't get to utilize all of the power of the motor. But that's okay, because it means we can use a smaller battery. And now we can turn this into a gun. skill I've somehow ended up with 12G wires on my battery that's going to be dumping 60 amps at 52 volts. <sighs> you know what? Let's use it till it catches fire. I don't actually care. Let's go. <laughs> First test, does it hurt? First test, my hand. Motherfucker. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Woo. Ha ha ha. I don't know if you can see very well, but I'm actually bleeding where that hit me. Down the edge of my hand there, which is really not ideal and it kind of stings and is definitely going to turn into a blood blister. Which rather annoyingly means we can't shoot this at people and means we have to shoot this at other stuff. YouTube has, would bring out a rotten watermelon or something easy, but I've decided to shoot potatoes because they're a good analogue for human flesh. Ah, we might need to attach it a bit better. Nothing to do now is get some footage of me using this, which is hard because George isn't here. Which means I can't test it with him. However, I can. Come on, no call. Oh, I'm very practical. Ah, yeah. And now, pow! Oh, I'm leaning on the motor. Ah! Ha ha ha! And now... Oh! Mm. That is the end of the video. Unfortunately, the connections to the battery, which I said earlier were going to catch fire, caught fire. And now there is no more world's most powerful water gun. However, it's still been a pretty good project and you should still subscribe, because this was a lot of fun. Let me know in the comments what I should do next, and please make it lighter than this. This is crucifying my knee, like, really badly. Oh. Dude, I got, like, an imprint of the gun on my knee. Sick. See you in the next video.